Today we're playing Kind of Feudy at the movies. Get ready for Game Showdown. Yo, what's up? Welcome to Game Showdown. I'm your host, Blessing, Addy Oye Jr., and I'm joined by three contestants. We got James Willems. Hello. Thank you for having me. Excited to be here. Excited to have you. Very we have Elise Willems. Thank you so much for having James Blessing. It means a lot to him. Awesome I, having you, James. Thank I'm you. So, I'm psyched to be here, too, but, you know. No, yeah, this is, I really needed this. It was his birthday really recently, so it's all about, Whoa. It's all yeah. about yeah. Yep. Happy birthday. Um, thank you very much. How old are you today? Uh, today I'm 40. Wow. In a couple days. Oh. You'd never think it, huh? Oh, look actually. At me. Damn. Look great. A good looking 40. <laughs> that look great. <laughs> and we got Nick. We got Nick Scarpino. I'm, I'm 44 and I'm falling apart. You look oh great. You look great too. I have, there's parts of me that just hurt now. I don't know why. I have no excuse for don't it. Don't you do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? That's part of the That's reason why. That's probably why. why. Yeah, that, we figured it out. I'm happy <laughs> you guys are here. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Yeah, happy show. to be here. Thanks Super for having fun. us. I will say I am turning 30 this year mm -hmm. and I'm, I've been yeah, playing right. a lot of sports <laughs> recently. Mm -hmm. I've been doing a lot of soccer. Yeah. And I can kind of feel myself falling apart. Yeah. Like I got, I was playing goalkeeper in the last game and the ball hit my thumb in a way that was uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And every day since then, I've just like had this feeling in my thumb where I'm like, I feel like this wouldn't have done this when I was 25. Nope. Nope. Oh, yeah. no. At 30, no. we bounce right back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I shattered my thumb in 2010, and the doctor told me I would need arthritis surgery by the time I'm 40. We're Coming up close. on it. We're getting pretty Coming close, up guys. On it. <laughs> we'll be taking bets surgery. during the show. <laughs> yeah, what's the on over, the under? over under? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> my arthritis surgery. <laughs> I got five on it. I got five. You can make it to 50. You're fine. Well, let's start this episode off with a trivia question. We're 10 points and the chance to start first in kind of feudy contestants. You can buzz in to answer. Okay. This is something I'm calling. Superstar bullet points. I'm going to read to you a list of six stars that appear in the same movie one at a time. It is your job to buzz in and guess what the movie is based on the stars. Oh, you can buzz. You can buzz in once every time I list an actor. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm going to list the actors in a row. You okay. get one chance to buzz in with every actor. Are you ready? That's yeah. Fun. Yes. The first actor, Ron Perlman. James. Hellboy. Hellboy is incorrect. Any of you guys the have obvious choice. That's the obvious choice. Can we can guess every round. You can guess, yeah, every actor I list. You can guess. Ron Perlman. Alien. Well, you want to buzz in first, Nick. Alien Resurrection. That is incorrect. Dang. Elise. Hellboy 2 Golden Army. Hellboy 2 Golden Army is incorrect. Oh, damn okay. it. <laughs> that's fine. Well, that's all the Ron Perlman movies I know. No, oh, come on. <laughs> the next actor, Tyler Perry. We got a Ron Perlman what? Tyler Perry film. <laughs> I told you this is gonna be easy. I apparently <laughs> I was wrong. Tyler, Perry. but no, you, you did say there might be some things that are completely absurd. Yeah, never this know. is absurd. I did not know they were in a movie together. James, City of Lost Children. That is incorrect. <sighs> Tough one though. Good movie though. French. Nobody has a buzz in. Uh, uh, I can uh, go on to the next one. Uh, uh, Nick. Medea. Something with Medea. <laughs> that, you can't accept that. I, I'm gonna need more specifics than just Medea. I don't know any other days. Jail. Medea goes to jail, sir. That sure. is incorrect. That is my favorite Medea movie. Okay. Elise. Medea Boo. That is incorrect. <laughs> Why'd you say it like that? <laughs> I don't know, because I think there's more to the title that I'm missing. I, next... tried, I tried watching it. I'm... The next actor. Meryl Streep. What? Oh, my God. So we got Ron Perlman, Tyler Perry, Meryl Streep, Elise. The Post? That is incorrect. Oh, that's a good guess, though. That was a good movie. I should know Ensemble. this. Ensemble. Ron it's Perlman, close friends with my father. Call him up. That's not true. Can we phone a friend? <laughs> Can I phone a friend? Can we phone James' James's no. father? I'm going to okay. call my dad and ask him if he's spoken to Ron Perlman in the last 60 years. I have zero context for a movie these three would have been in together. Next actor. Yeah. Ariana Grande. God, okay. It's, it's got to be an animated movie, right? James. <sighs> Valentine's Day. That is incorrect. I like that guess a lot, though. Yeah. You got Ron Perlman, Tyler Perry, Meryl Streep, Ariana Grande, Nick. How about I guess like Trolls, the Trolls movie or something like that? Incorrect. I love how this is going because I was concerned yeah. that this would be a too easy of a round or this that nobody wild. would have any answers. But I like all of what you're throwing out. Yeah. yeah. Next actor, Jennifer Lawrence. Right. It's got to be an animated movie. There's no way all these yeah. people are in this movie <sighs> together. The one hint I'll give is that I'm not listing these actors in terms of like Who, prominence what in the movie. Yeah, 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 these yeah. are just actors that happen to be in this movie. James. Smurfs 2. Smurfs 2 is incorrect. Elise. Don't Look Up? Don't Look Up 
is the correct oh, answer. Good answer. Absolutely nailed it. That is 10 wow. points to the least. The, the last actor I was going to list is Leonardo DiCaprio. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know. That would have been good. <laughs> no, I that, have you guys seen Don't Look Up? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Terrifying. I didn't know. Yeah. It's oh, the Civil was, War of four years ago. She was like the president <laughs> or something. Meryl Streep was the. Like, yeah. I play, and he can I think say that. I was the president. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we got uh, Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio was going to be the last actor mm-hmm. that I would have listed who played Dr. Randall Mindy. But yeah, you had Jennifer Lawrence playing uh, Kate in that movie, who's like mm-hmm. another lead character. Meryl Streep playing President Orlean. Um, one that I didn't have listed, but uh, Kate Blanchett was in that movie as Brie Avanti. Uh, you have Jonah Hill in that movie yeah, as yeah, Jason song. Orlean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, you have Tyler Perry in there as Shaq Bremer. Like, the rest of these are kind of minor wow. roles, but Timothy Chalamet is in there as well. You uh, threw me off with Ron Perlman. Yeah, because yeah. I was like, the, I think I, the idea. We expect, no, yes. we expect him in Monster Maker. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Ron, Ron Perlman and, and like and Sons of Anarchy. Yeah, Benedict Strass. Tyler Perry in drag. He's yeah. like a yeah. military officer, so he's like a general or something. Yeah. Tyler Perry? No, Ron Perlman. Oh, Ron Perlman. What was, <laughs> what was Tyler, Tyler Perry in it? Uh, he played Jack Bremer. I forget what role Jack Bremer plays in no. the story. Again, these are like minor hmm. minor roles. Was just the big a, ones being Leonardo DiCaprio yeah. and Jennifer Lawrence That's and Meryl Streep, for that matter. That's a good one. But yeah, that's 10 points to Elise. Good job, Elise. Nice job. Nice strong job. start. Thank you. Remember, this is kind of like funny. blew up in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> kind of funny game showdown, kind of funny is nerdy game show that you can watch live right here on Twitch and on YouTube. If you love what we do, support us with the kind of funny membership on Patreon or YouTube to get all of our shows ad free. Watch us record them live and get a daily exclusive show. Thank you to our Patreon producers, Delaney Twining, De- Kieran Hovasapien, and Carl Jacobs. Today we're brought to you by Factor, but we'll tell you about that later. For now, let's begin with Kind of Feudy. Kind of Feudy, the rules are simple. I've surveyed over 1,400 members of the Kind of Funny audience on a number of prompts. Each round, I'm going to read to you a prompt and will ask each of you which answer you think the Kind of Funny best friends gave the most. Today, instead of video games, we're doing a Kind of Feudy game all about films. I've narrowed down to five answers per prompt. If you give the correct answer, the more popular the answer, the more points you'll receive. For example, if asked you to name a Christopher Nolan movie, if Nick says Inception and it's number one, that'll get him 50 points. If Lee says Dark Knight and that's number two, that'll get her 40 points. If James says Oppenheimer and that's number three, that'll get him 30 points and so on and so forth. Each player will get a max of two guesses per round. Last place goes first after the first round. And whoever has the most points after five rounds wins. Contestants, are you ready? Yeah. I just no, want to say, I would, I would have said the following for Christopher Nolan. <laughs> that would have gotten you no, losing no the round. Wow. That would have probably not gotten you any points. Ah. That would have been tough. We're going by audience answers and popularity here. Okay. Starting with round number one. Mm-hmm. Oh, you have to buzz in on this. I think oh, yeah, there's go, no buzz. You, go first oh, now. Okay. you yeah. just won, you just won the first. Oh, oh, Can I still wow. buzz in? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> During her <laughs> answer. <laughs> Try to take it from me. I think it's up to Roger whether or not they're enabled or not. But yeah, you can mm-hmm. buzz in for fun. There's like a little they're thing not, to, to mess you around turn with. Turn mine off. There we go. They're green, though. Round number one. Name a movie franchise based on a novel that became more popular than the novel. Again, name a movie mm. franchise based on a novel that became more popular than the novel, at least because you got our leading question, you get to go first. I feel like there's there's a little bit of a catch there That's because tough. some of these That's these tough. franchises, the novels are still wildly popular. How do we uh, define popularity by just gross total sales? How do you I think guess. the audience would define it? Yeah, Fair I enough. guess. Yeah, they're the judge. I mean, I feel like uh, tough one. Stomach's uh, growling. This is tough. I mean, I'm going to say Harry Potter, but I don't. I don't think that's true. I think the books are still wildly popular, unfortunately. Elise says Harry Potter. Harry Potter is our 30-point answer. Mm. Number three. So it's our third yeah. most popular answer. The Bible doesn't count, Nick. Don't even try it, okay? I know you're thinking Have you of, seen Noah? I knew you were going to say Darren Aronofsky's <laughs> Noah. Have don't even Noah? try it, Nick. I wonder if you would have gone to the universe. crushes it. <laughs> uh, next up, actually, is James. I know... I know Nick wants me to say Congo, but I'm going to say Jurassic Park. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's a great, That's a great one. one. James says Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park is our 10 point oh. answer. People love that book. No one's read it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this because, not because I believe in this, but because I'm a recent convert of this series and because obviously Elise is here. So in honor of her visit, I'm going to say Lord of the Rings. Mm. Nick says Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings is our 50-point wow. answer. 
the strong star. No, that's Dune. That's Dune. Sorry, Mordor. Hi, <laughs> that'll do, Nick. Elise, we're back to you. <laughs> was that Babe Pig in the City? No, was that? that's Gimli. And he's, <laughs> he's never seen you know. the films. I watched it once. I hated him. No, I loved. Uh, Elise, it's you. time for your second answer. Oh, I got you number for this. Yeah, yeah. Oh my There's door. five of okay. them, right? All right. There's five total, yeah. yeah. You just get two guesses. Uh, I'm going to say Twilight. Mm. Ooh, Elise says good. Twilight. Never seen it. Twilight sure. is not on wow. the list. That was going to be my answer. But maybe the books are still so popular. That prose. People love that <laughs> prose. Um, hmm. I know Nick wants me to say Maze Runner. But <sighs> so does. <laughs> he wants me I to got, say Maze I got Runner. two in my brain. Maybe Maze Runner is one of those. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go... Hunger Games. Mm, that was the other one. James says Hunger Games. Hunger Games is our 20 point answer. What? Nice. nice. Nick, you're our final guess here. What do we have left? The 40 point answer? Just the 40 point answer. Big. Um, Pretty big one. I will. I'll say Maze Runner. Sure. <laughs> Nick says no way. He's a runner. No way. Well, you got it in my head, and I can't think of another one now. Yeah, so yeah, that's I it. It. We've gone through all of them. Nick says Maze Runner. Maze Runner is not yeah. on okay, tough one. the no list. No justice tough in one. this world. You're going to be upset that you didn't get this 40 point answer. Dune. Mm. Oh, Dune. More Damn popular it. than the books, though? Was the yeah, 40 definitely. point answer. I don't Damn know. it. It should have been Dune. I mean, yeah. with Zendaya and Timothy Chalamet. And also, also like, nobody had heard of Dune in modern times. Well, Until the movie you. came out, probably. How dare you? As someone who just recently finished Children of Dune, the third in the series. Don't spoil it. Is it good? I can't There's spoil children. it because the plot's nonsensical. Wait, <laughs> when, when does Dune Messiah come Next. into play? That's two. That's two. That's oh, two. I see. So the first yeah. couple movies were the first book. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. But they sound, they're saying they might combine the next two books into one movie, which they is should. like the reverse, which they should. Yeah. They for, for uh, sure should. I thought you were going to go Babe, the novelization. For whatever reason, I had Star Wars in my brain. Yeah, and I was Did like, those aren't the books, the Nick. Stop universe say, yeah. books. I was like, stop <laughs> thinking about Star Wars. And I had Dune right off the rip, and I was like, nah, there's no way. Yeah. People, don't, people don't actually watch that movie. I will say Harry Potter being uh, third on the list surprised me. But well, I, the, the Harry Potter novels, the still books popular. are still selling right. them. Yeah. That's yeah. the thing. They're I, making a lot of money, and they're still super popular with every generation. I guess it's also tough to think of Dune as a franchise yet. Considering there's basically two movies only because they couldn't figure out how to make it one. Yeah, that's that was kind of caught up in yeah. my brain too. Yeah. I mean, it is part one, part two and of the yeah. same movie. This is the Scream Squad, which by Scream logic, that would not constitute a franchise. Was Scream no, a novelized? No, yeah. Was there a novelization of the Scream series? Because I would read. Those. It's not. It's the, the question is the opposite direction. You can't just write a book <laughs> afterwards. Yeah, but you know how they used to do that when the movie came out, and then the book you'd see the book at the airport, and it'd be James like, Bond Tom probably Cruise. should have been number one. Oh, good call. Oh, no wow. one's read any of those That's a really good one. I've read all of them. <laughs> oh, you have? I've yeah. read a couple of them, too. But. <laughs> well, with that, James got the 10-point answer with Jurassic Park. James got the 20-point answer with Hunger Games. Elise got the 30-point answer with Harry Potter. And Nick got the 50-point answer with Lord of the Rings. Moving on Galadriel. to round number two. Name a movie where Will Smith acted his ass off. Oof. Can we buzz in for this? No, I'm still oh, oh. calling you guys out. <laughs> Sorry. Name a movie. Where Will Smith acted his ass off. I'm gonna start mm. off with James. Oh, well, that's easy. Pursuit Damn of it. happiness. Damn it. Damn it. With a Y. Damn it. James says, Pursuit of happiness. Pursuit of happiness is our number Damn one. It. Okay, he was fucking of great course it is. Movie. He's up against, he's in the bathroom. The bathroom he's holding his shovel with his foot. He's crying and his kid's asleep. Anytime I'm pooping in a public restroom, that's how I'm doing it. I'm oh, my foot crying yeah, yeah. with my foot against holding, the door. Holding yeah. Jaden in your <laughs> yeah. arms. It makes it tough. It makes it tough, but you get it out. Damn. He wanted to be a stockbroker so bad. <laughs> he Damn. really did. He really did. There's a movie about how bad someone, one man wanted to be a stockbroker. He broker. needed it. God. Uh, next anything up. else. <laughs> it um, just wanted to bring it up. I really want Nick to guess The Legend of Bagger Vance, so I'm going to go <laughs> King Richard. Elise says King Richard. King Richard is not on the list. Wow. Even though I agree with you. Oh. Like That would have been Academy my answer, too. He was incredible in King Richard. He can wanted I, it. Can he I wanted switch it my much. answer to his 2024 Coachella guest spot? Yeah. I don't, did you see that? I did see that. That was incredible. Pretty I was awesome. not. Couldn't have he made his neck work. <laughs> <laughs> At least showed me that video, and I was like, as soon as it started, I was like, does he make his neck work? And she's like, just wait. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have two in my brain right now. Uh, one of them is probably a very little known Will Smith movie. So I'll go with the more well-known, which is Ali. Oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nick okay. says Ali. Ali is our 20 point answer. Y'all need to watch Ali. And we're back to James. Hmm. 
where he acted his ass off. That doesn't necessarily mean artistically. I mean, let's be perfectly so, honest. The answer should be Men in Black. He's great in Men in Black, but he's cool as a cucumber. Yeah. See, I interpret- but I think... Oh, sorry. I, I interpret it as acting his ass off like he's going for the Oscar. That's but that you know? but we're considering but the kind be... of funny the kind of funny members here, right? right? And their interpretation. Fans. So I'm gonna go Independence Day. Great oh. movie. Great. James film. says Independence Day. Independence Day is our 10 point answer. And we're back to Elise. Blessing, you know, I gotta go Suicide Squad. Wow. Listen, I know he's you my go dead with shot. It. <laughs> Good. Is that the character he plays? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He's dead shot. Yeah. <laughs> Elise you says, it. Is that, is that seriously your answer? You know it. We're locking it in. Elise is <laughs> going Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad is not on That's the bullshit. list. But I respect the guess. Replace Will Smith with Jared Leto, and you're getting the 50 point answer. Oh, there. 1000%. <laughs> <laughs> Next Scarpino. All right, this movie's probably not on the list, and I'm not even sure I'm getting the, the title right because I think it was like Will Smith's first movie that he ever did right after doing like Fresh Prince, but I think it's called Six Degrees of Separation. <laughs> Nick says six degrees. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> not on the list. Six, de- yeah, no, six no. degrees. It's not on the list. <laughs> okay, <that's fine. laughs> I don't know how to do the formal. Is that it's an, not on the list. <laughs> can we confirm if that's an actual Will Smith? I'm gonna, movie? I'm gonna look it up. Actually, I'm kind of. I know exactly I'm, what you're talking about because I'm proud I, of myself if I pulled that one out of my ass. There was a time where, like, before even like I even knew what kind of funny it was, I did my own mini Will Smith in review. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna watch all the Will Smith movies just as a fan. I just yeah, love his yeah. work. And I looked at Six Degrees of Separation. I was like, Nah, I don't gotta do that one. Fair enough. Maybe you, I should go back and get the, the title of that right. Uh, wow. It, was, yeah. it was him and like Stalker Channing, right? Doesn't he play like a like a young kid that gets invited into their house or some weird shit happens? I mean, doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. I remember liking it, but. Did nobody say Men in Black? Not I yet, said Men yet. in Black Toyd, is a goof. Toyd, Toyd was saying it, but no one said it. And yeah. we're done, we went through twice, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, you already went through twice. Oh, we don't get to keep going? No, I think we go. No, twice. you only get two guesses yeah, each. Yeah. Oh, Men in Black damn it. I thought was we kept going. the thirty-point answer. Okay. Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay, if you guess Men in Black, problem. Really See, like it. if we were thinking, we got to think as the audience, right? Yeah. And the audience generally, they're just a bunch of troglodytes. They're just yeah. so simple. They love focus, and they just go. Will Smith is funny. He's acting his ass off. Give him, give him the. Well, he fires work. that noisy cricket, and he gets launched back. So great. You remember I Men in Black <laughs> rocks? Remember you when on your side with this? You said six degrees of separation, but before I Am Legend, which was our forty-point answer, and also seven pounds. Come on. Man, yeah, seven, seven pounds. pounds. Seven pounds. Seven I, pounds. Everyone hated that, that movie. Wow. List though, plus it wasn't on the list, but still, but you're I listing thought, six I, degrees was, of separation. It was up there, seven pounds for sure, because that's how much weight you lose when you die. That's the weight of the soul. That's your soul. You breathe it out. Seven pounds. Some people say seven ounces. You know, by the way, it's not coming out your mouth. It's coming out. That's the where the one, seven pounds. If you're curious how much your soul weighs, it's not your soul. <laughs> it's your it's, lower It's your colon. evacuation. Yeah. <laughs> it's your mouth. <laughs> it's a BM. Maybe you got a bad soul like me. It's coming out. Keep sorry, blessing. Bad soul for life. (laughs) Uh, With that, James got the ten point answer with Independence Day. Nick got the twenty point answer with Ali, and James got the fifty point answer with Pursuit of Happiness. Barrett, what's the current score? Uh, Right now, the current score in last place with forty points. It's Team Elise, but she's going to keep fighting her way up to the top. In second place, representing kind of funny. He's doing. He's doing okay. He's doing good enough, doing I would great. say. I would say he could probably be doing better, but it's Team Nick with 70 points. And right now in the lead, is it any surprise? It's Team James with 90 points, but it's still anybody's game. We're going to move on to round number three. But before we do, let me tell you about patreon.com slash kind of funny and d2.com slash kind of funny games where you can get the kind of funny membership, which allows you to get shows ad free. And speaking of ads, let us tell you about our sponsors. This episode is brought to you by Factor. Eat stress-free this spring with Factor's delicious, ready-to-eat meals. A ton of us here at Kind of Funny have been so thankful for Factor since we've been in the new studio, and you can too. Every fresh, never-frozen meal is chef-crafted, dietitian approved and ready to eat in just two minutes. Choose from a weekly menu of 35 options, including popular options like Calorie Smart, Keto, Protein Plus, or Vegan and Veggie. Also, discover more than 60 add-ons every week, like breakfast, on-the-go lunch, snacks, and beverages to help you stay fueled and feel good all day long. What are you waiting for? Get started today and fuel up your springtime goals. Get chef-prepared meals on the table in two minutes with Factors ready-to-eat meals so you can get back to doing what you love 
this spring. Head to factormeals.com slash kindoffunny50 and use code kindoffunny50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next box. That's code kindoffunny50 at factormeals.com slash kindoffunny50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next box while your subscription is active. And we're back. I got to, before we proceed, I've got a message from one Chris Anka mm. who's watching presumably live right now. Although, all, on, honestly, he could have just texted me this <laughs> in a void yeah, and yeah, it would yeah, still be the thing. He said, you somehow have the taste of an 80-year-old and a 15-year-old. Nice. That tracks. It's really nice. I'm I've still blown away by 60 degrees of separation. As yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm glad you know Will it. Smith movies. I, he was good at it. It was Bad good. Bo- what about Bad Boys? <laughs> Bad boy. I was gonna get bad boy. So, that's how you like, drive. There is so many Will Smith movies that are like so popular. Yeah. I love that you were like, what's the most niche like mm-hmm. what if I said unknown fo- what if I said Will Smith? focus? Remember that movie? Oh, that's what I tried. I've always I'm wanted still to watch focus. For a it's, third Margot Robbie parent. It was Margot Robbie's first film, and she and Margot Robbie's great now, but she is objectively terrible in this really? film. Really? I gotta She's watch it. Really bad. You know what bothered me about that movie, which I didn't see? The title card for it looked exactly like the title card for, for the focus, focus pictures, fe- focus features, or yeah, focus yep. yeah. pictures or whatever. It's the same. You it's can't exactly do the that. Same. I'm confused. It's like Every single out. time a movie starts, I think, oh no, focus is starting. Yeah, we're watching Will Smith. We we're, went to the we're wrong stuck in this world. Yeah, <laughs> God. All right, let's move on to round number three. <laughs> Name Steven Spielberg's best work. Oh shit. Name Steven Spielberg's this is too hard. best work. This is a this is a gamut. Best we're running the gamut. We're gonna start off with Elise Willems. Say the Fablemans. <laughs> oh, you would think. Um, <laughs> I am gonna go. 1941. Schindler's List. Mm. A little mm. bit of a downer. Mm. Says great movie though. Schindler's List. Schindler's List is our ten point oh. answer. You got it's our audience because it's, yeah. it's a downer. No, I'm with them. Yeah, it's a I mean, I agree. I had bumps me out. I had a movie in mind that was like what I thought would be. The crowd not, pleaser, but then I was thinking of technical filmmaking and storytelling, mm, and I was I he thought, couldn't even shoot it in, in color. In, in the significance, uh, and I love the story about how Robin Williams used to call him during the making of Schindler's List to cheer him up. Our oh. audience definitely is not thinking about those. Oh, things. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, did he have to do? What did he do right after that movie? Oh no, he was doing my. Was it my turn? It is your turn, Nick. I think he was doing right after that. I think he was working on Jurassic Park, right? I think the movie you're trying to name is Polar I Express. Think, I think it went the other way. Oh, it was Jurassic Park the and other he was way, working on that? Because then that's George, Clu- George Lucas finished Jurassic Park. I think Polar Express is what you're trying to... Well, my answer is Jurassic Park. Oh, damn it. I'll Polar say Jurassic Express. Park. <laughs> that was Robert Zemeckis. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Stop bringing that energy into this. I, but I think what you want to say is, is Polar Express. What you mean is DreamWorks. <laughs> Nick's answer is Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park is our 50-point yeah, answer. Gotta be. Gotta be. We we love Jurassic Park. We're a yeah. Jurassic Park house. Yeah. Uh, next up is James. Mm, I was definitely gonna say Jurassic Park. Mm-hmm. Hard to pull Nick, another I, one. I, I, yeah, I thought Nick was gonna say something obscure like the pilot to Colombo. Wow. <laughs> oh, a close Encounters. <laughs> yeah. Close <laughs> Encounters. Not, I'm gonna obscure. go Jaws. Damn it. That's a James great film. says it. Jaws. Jaws is our thirty point answer. Real good. Okay. Real good. Next up, Elise. It's one of my favorites, and I think it's going to resonate with the audience. Hook. I know it was critically panned at the time, but I think it's it's a uh, yeah. He oh, doesn't care. Doesn't for like it. joy. Doesn't like it. Is it because Hook scares you too just, much? No, it was just weird when they were like eating the thing. He's like, you can't see us eat the thing. Yeah, and the imagination like, food. And then he cuts to them, and they're just slobs eating with their hands. <laughs> it's but it's all colorful, and they all have cheese with their face on it, Nick. Oh, that gosh. seems right, right up your alley. And right. jealous. <laughs> I do like cheese. <laughs> <laughs> it should be my. He's watching it. It should be my face. Elise says, "Hook, hook, is not on the list." Don't. don't let them. Nick, let you're them. up next. Uh, can, do I have to name a movie or the franchise? Can I name a franchise? The movie. The movie. Yeah. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Hmm. I'll Indiana take it. Jones. Yeah, Indiana, Indiana Jones. Jones is yeah, a franchise. No, that's, that's right. all three of them. Um, that's a Jurassic Park. I guess you're. Uh, you know what? I, for this one, I will take franchise answers. Okay. Uh, Indiana Jones is our forty point yeah. answer. I, I do think that the kind of funny members were specifically referring to Crystal Skull, though. To be clear. Yes. To be fair, have you yeah, watched they, that again? Mm-hmm. It uh, ages horribly. It, what are you talking about? It was horrible. At it's the even time. worse now. It's, it's, you, you set that up like you were going to give some. Yeah, you know, I thought you were. Like, actually, it's pretty it's good actually, now. But really. no, I think you just confirmed you know what, what everyone feels. Still bad. Yeah, Still yeah. real bad. It's like Terminator. At a certain point, when you make a new one, it 
it makes the other one shine a little bit more. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> You're like, it's like Genesis kind of yeah, looks good compared yeah, to the one that came before. Yeah, harsh on Genesis. <laughs> Hold on. I got to call Mike real quick. Okay. Hold on. And ahead, James, your final answer? Final yeah, the 20-point answer. answer left on the board. The 20-point answer left on the board. Um, West Side Story. People love no, that West Side Story. No, it's not that. I'm thinking, I mean, it's either really old. I'm also thinking the probably the demographic of the kind of funny members. Smart things to think about. So it's gonna. we're thinking about films around the 2000s, probably, when people really got to know Spielberg. Yeah, sure. And so I'm going to go Minority Report. Wow. Oh, good. James says Minority Report. One, one. <laughs> minority Report is not no, on, on the list. Our 20-point answer, which nobody got, E.T. Oh. Extraterrestrial. The extraterrestrial. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. like to think of that movie because as a child, and I think I speak for the entire group, uh, it was horrifying, traumatizing, and yeah. made all of us cry. Yeah, it was pretty. Uh, E.T. E. looked fucked it. up. It was Dude, weird. he fucking dies. Spoiler, he comes back. And he turns gray. Yeah. That's There's just a kid me. crying over a fucking dead gray body, and it's sad as shit. That was me with Zordon in the Power Rangers movie. Remember when yeah. he's all withered up yeah. in that little <laughs> yeah, we remember. dais or whatever in the middle of the thing? Is that the one where the, um, where the kids play the game and then the house goes into space? No, that's Zathura. <laughs> Which one's the one from the, who was the, the lead actress in Dune? That was Interstellar. I was thinking Zendaya. I was just going to keep Oh, uh, I was like, Timothy Chalamet is in... <laughs> Is oh, in he is in that, right? And it's about a house that goes into space. Is and then he comes down and he's crying because he can't see through the books. He's like, where are they? Where are they? Is Mike asleep? Mike, wake up. Let him wake sleep. up. Mike does look like Let he's asleep in the bed. What did you do is last that a blanket? Night? I played 20 minutes of Call of Duty with you. You come well, in like you went to a fucking EDM concert. It, can I say this? I also like that it, he was wearing a sweater earlier. He took off the sweater <laughs> to wear it as a blanket. Yeah. But I mean, that's just less coverage than if you're wearing no, the sweater. No, the sweater would be better. But I think it's he's cold not because his upper torso is cold. I think it's because he always wears shorts. Oh, it's mm. rising up. You see that? It's if you shoot, look, you can see the glare from the his leg. kneecaps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> with that, Elise got our 10-point answer with Schindler's List. James got our 30-point answer with Jaws. Nick got our 40-point answer with Indiana Jones. Nick got our 50-point wow. answer with Jurassic Park as we roll right in to round number four. Round four. Name Fight. the best movie that came out in 2023. Name oh, shit. the this, best see, the movie that came, like, out what came out in 2023. Yeah, what? In 2023. Well, the Academy Awards. So I know my answer. Okay. <laughs> I know my sure. answer. We're going to start off with Elise. I, I don't, I don't, I, I don't remember what came out, Blessing. Elise just goes, pass. <laughs> <laughs> She's just pass. thinking about it. Um, 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 what the hell even won the Academy Award? Oppenheimer. Oh, oh, never mind then. Okay, that's probably the answer. <laughs> that's um, a good answer. I'm going to go. Wait, James, what movies did I love last year? Well, I'm not going to tell you any oh, more dear. than that. Okay, at least it's struggling. At least it's struggling. Uh, sorry, blessing. I'm stalling for time. I guess I'm in my No, eye. people love when people struggle on the show. The content. Um, Where's she, who's she winking at? She I, I think she thinks this is a, this is a timed thing. <laughs> I'm going to go with... Because I'm thinking the kind of funny audience here. Mm -hmm. They're progressive. What do I know about them? They're progressive. Super progressive. Mm -hmm. They love adaptations of ip love ip mm -hmm. love uh, everything they love the film focus going. also starring this particular actress i'm gonna go barbie elise says barbie barbie is our 30 point 30 answer point like it's answer. interesting because i love watching blessing react to the answer it's yeah. like he's either he, like he has a reaction where he's like like I can, I think I can tell where you're at with the score. Really, I don't think. Mm -hmm. I think it's got poker you face. Got I, poker I mean, face? as soon as I said Minority Report, I saw a little. There's like a twitch. <laughs> minority Report and, broke me because knowing ET is the right answer. <laughs> and you go with Minority Report. Yeah. It's, it's really it's funny. Every, Every once in a while, while go an up and down. Will throw him off so much that <laughs> yeah. he can't hide. Because I'm sitting here like, surely he's gonna say ET. No. <laughs> or maybe he said Saving Private Ryan. You know, like there is some obvious answers on the board. <laughs> Private Ryan. Yeah. Minority Report. They got the highways. They go up and down. There is cool. some. Le when you give a left field answer, that's where I'm. That's where you break me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, next up, though, is James. Oh God. 2023. Okay. I mean, my answer. Do I want to submit it though? <laughs> is Anatomy of a Fall. Oh wow. <laughs> I mean, it was amazing. It was but great. I don't. Is the kind of. Do I believe that you the kind of that funny movie? members yeah. thought that that was one of the best films of 20? You know what? I do. And I'm going to answer. <laughs> ah, Why did you hold on? Why did you? Why did you hear that? Why did you hear that? Why did you hear that? You looked at me. You looked at me. You looked at me. You looked at me. I'll go. Um, 
I'm gonna go across the Spider Verse. <laughs> All right, there you okay. go. James Willem says great. across the Spider Verse. That's a real good I'm gonna laugh after every answer now to throw you guys off. <laughs> that's the answer, and that okay. Across the Spider Verse is our forty point yes. answer. Next I mean, up, fifty Nick. point has to be Oppenheimer, right? Nick says Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer is our fifty point. Is it answer? We wow. love Oppenheimer here. Dude, Dude, people, just, people just let the Oscars determine their opinions. They really do. I loved Oppenheimer. The part where they <laughs> made the big explosion. That was cool. I like that part. <laughs> I did like that. Yeah, that was cool. I my eyes after. Jack Quaid played the bongos. That was oh, cool. Dude, that was awesome. That was good too. And then Robert Downey Jr. gets clowned out by fucking Albert Einstein. Like tough one. I think we've got RDJ every scene in the studio Pugh. with us, right? Right over there. He doesn't want to be on camera though. Oh. Maybe he'll call. Good him seeing you. At least you're up next. I'm gonna go Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, Mutant Elise Mutant says Mayhem. TMNT Mutant Mayhem. TMNT Mutant Mayhem. Is not a uh, It should be on the list. Y'all gotta go should watch it. Should be on the list though. Yeah. Watch that Incredible movie. movie. James. What what else came out? What else came out? The problem is when you have ten nominees, yeah. none of them seem to matter. Well the other problem is like <laughs> if you're just going off the Academy Award list, mm-hmm. yeah. You got you if you have the first two, which we already have, Barbie and Oppenheimer, like I don't I doubt the rest of the audience has gone down. I mean, I, I could see the kind of funny audience loving Nyad. Really I love Nyad. being into Nyad. I heard it was great. It was great. You know, it's unclear whether or not she, because she wrote the screenplay. Yeah. And she's known, she's a known liar. Okay. <laughs> is she, is like, she's a known liar. Wait, is she here? the Steven Seagal of Swimmer? No, we, can, this we, much can't confirm, on the show. <laughs> we can't confirm how much of that actually happened. Um, and the best movie that came out in 2023. Uh, just trying to think about movies that came out in 2023. Um, at least what's a movie that came out in 2023? It's uh, got to be a pop culture movie. Uh, yeah, uh, I know. Four things came out. Do we think? Do we think, think the kind of it. funny audience liked a surreal uh, coming of age? Uh, I'm gonna go poor things. James says poor things. I love poor things. Poor things though is not on the list. Oh, yeah, that's tough. You got to go pop culture ish. Nick, you're our final answer here. Oh, fuck. What Marvel movie came out in 2023? They all just <laughs> kind of crowd together. What did we do? Guardians. Did Volume The Grey come, come out, out last year? No. The Grey you know starring what? Liam Neeson? <laughs> the Grey. Um, shit. Now that came out at the end of 2022. Any Lego Batman? <laughs> No, I was like say, it's audience. overdue for a Lego Batman or You're something. You're Maggie Smith. Any Lego Batman? <laughs> I was because knowing our audience, they got some stupid ass answer in there, like mm. Aquaman two. Mm. So I'm gonna put Aquaman two in there. <laughs> can, say the full you, name. Yeah, say Nick. the full name, please. King uh, the new uh, the new kingdom lost the lost kingdom, kingdom of there you go. Crystal yeah. Skull. Is that actually- Aquaman. So. Aqu- Nick says Aquaman: The Lost Kingdom. Aquaman is not yeah. on. Good. The I'm actually list. proud of you guys. The Flash came out in 20. 20- did the Flash come out in 20? Fuck, I think it did. Oh, that's it. That's got to be. That's got to be it. <laughs> I well, we'll say like I mean, you mentioned the Marvel thing, right? Where yeah, the question becomes: Did Marvel put out any good movies no, in 2023? Blue, blue, blue right. They had Guardians. Guardians wasn't on the list. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Well, I would. I would have laughed. I think you guys got it with Across the Spider Verse, though. Like I think mm-hmm. that is the Marvel that's movie. The movie. Yeah. yeah. Um, our 10 point answer though, John Wick Four. Oh, oh fuck! John I Wiki, forgot John that Wiki. came out. Oh, they got to release those later in the year. Yeah, if right. I remember those. Yeah. Our twenty point answer did release later in the year. Godzilla minus one. Oh, oh see, I haven't yeah, seen yeah, it. Yep, yep. I haven't seen okay. it. Okay, great taste. Great yeah. taste. You would love it. Great taste. That's a good list, audience. Good job. Yeah, yeah. I'm with proud that, of you for once. Elise got our thirty point answer with Barbie. James got our forty point answer with Across the Spider Verse, and Nick got our fifty point answer with Oppenheimer. As we move on from you. to our fifth and final round. Name an actor who appeared in Dune 1 or 2 aside from Timothy Chalamet or Zendaya. Name an actor who okay. appeared in Dune 1 or 2 aside from Timothy Chalamet or Zendaya. We're going to start off with Elise. I'm going to go with uh, um, Dave Batista. Blessing. Oh, good. Good answer. Good answer. It in. Love him. Elise says Dave Batista. Dave Batista is our 20 point answer. Nice. Can you name the character? Mm, it's probably like, Can you name the character? Probably the Beast of Ron. Close enough. James, you're up next. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me, I'm up next. Yep. Dune one or two. Dune or two one or, or and two. two. One or, or two. two. Dune one or two. Okay. 
trying to think of the most popular. Yeah. He's a heartthrob. Sexy Austin man. Butler. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. James he's a, says he's a heartthrob. Austin Butler. Austin Butler is not wow. on oh, the list, which is so fucked up. <laughs> what a waste. He was only I thought like that would have been five minutes two. of the movie. Gotta but he was like, he was such a presence in Dune 2. Yeah, yeah he was great. He was the best character in that movie. Yeah. I am. Oh, uh, he stole the scene. What for sure. character was he again, Elise? He was Shalubadu. Timothy, Timothy. He was um, Fade Ralph. Yep. Close yeah. Enough. Fade Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Scarpino. <laughs> um, I'm uh there's two that are noodling around my brain. Is this my first time going? Yes. Yeah, I'll go with uh Aquaman himself, Jason Momoa. I knew it. The Mamos. The Mimosa, as some people call <laughs> him. Who was that again? The party was? drink. He was Prub. Was... <laughs> Duncan. I don't know. Come on. Please let Blessing host the right, show. Nick James, says Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa is not wow. on the list. Oh my gosh. People This okay. list is a shocker to me. This is wild. Right. Okay. I mean, I got okay. I got I said I got plenty, you know. We got a lot. Cuz we have 300 characters the number one we have, we have the you got number 50 one you got, No, you got the 20 point answer. 20 point, oh, well, Elise like got the 20 one. point answer with Dave Batista. There's still four answers left on the board and Elise we're back to you. There are two that I'm I'm debating over cuz one is a hunk and one's a babe. I'm going to go for the babe. I'm going to go Rebecca Ferguson. Mm. Tight. Elise says Rebecca Ferguson. Rebecca Ferguson is our 40 point what? answer. Thank what? God. She's amazing. A queen. I love her. She's great, but the kind of funny audience is like, that's Re there's Rebecca well, Ferguson. Well, I'll tell you why, because <laughs> we love Mission Impossible. I do too. That's so we reason. put Rebecca on a pedestal. And, Andy too, Cortez but... also talks about Rebecca Ferguson every single day on our content. He also made her as his uh, companion in Dragon's Dogma, which I really? probably put her into but, the brains of the kind of funny audience. Wasn't, wasn't, Andy, who she was talking about when she gave that interview and said that that cast member had screamed at her or whatever. Oh, right. Wasn't that about, well, that was about confirm, Andy, I thought. Yeah. We can confirm that today, yes. Can See? confirm. Yeah, so. Put it on Twitter. Well, you're, in, you're a big Greatest Show fan, too. The great, which one was the Hugh greatest? Jackman and... The Greatest Showman? Wait, was, oh, uh, the Rebecca, Greatest Showman? Uh, Never seen Rebecca, it. Rebecca Ferguson, was she in that? Yes, yeah. In The Greatest Showman, really? Yeah. Was she like his wife or something? I don't know. Was that the one where he had to cut off his but, thumb to match the other guy? No, you're thinking of the prestige. <laughs> <laughs> Which, imagine if that was the log line for the prestige. Yeah, yeah. He had to cut off his thumb to match that other guy. Okay. <laughs> no buzz it. Yeah, all, like, um, Hugh Reset. Jackman's in both of those, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, yes, he yeah. is yeah, actually. Yeah. Oh, that's, so, that's the that's connection. Why. That yeah. was actually like a better connection. He's than in I a thought. circus and in one, and like the other one is he's magicians. Yeah. yeah, it's the same so, thing. Honestly, I yeah. I understand how you get. Well, there. what's hilarious? I I know the Greatest Showman because uh, I never watched it. Oh. Mm. It's my one. It's my one flaw. That's the one film you haven't seen. <laughs> that and Schindler's <laughs> List are the two movies that and I Schindler's really got to catch yeah. up on. Well, at least Greatest Showman. Zone of Interest. Sure. James, we're. Back okay, I mean, I gotta go with the the show stealer Javier Bardem. Yeah, mm. that's gonna be. 50. James says Javier Bardem. Javier Bardem is our thirty point oh, answer. Jack Sparrow. Gotta I'm thinking that. Oscar um, Isaac. That's Nick, you're our final guest. Oh, I'll go I mean, with Josh Brolin. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's going with Josh Brolin. Josh Brolin is our fifty point oh, shit. answer. Wow. Rolling with Brolin, which you know secures why? victory Thanos. for Nick. That does they love him. Yeah. They love the Thanos. They love Thanos. Also, he did have such a presence in Dune 2. Yeah. And won't spoil things, but man, I, it was, there was a smile on my face when I saw oh, him. Of course. Come on. It's man. wild. You're like, how long has he been out there for? Our 10 point answer that nobody got uh, was Oscar Isaac. That's, yeah. That was, that was my, yeah. my hunk of the hunk in the bay. I, I was thinking. I was fingers crossed that Stellan Skarsgård was what, on it because he was the hunk, best I character. I thought Stellan Skarsgård. Yeah. That's what I thought too. I mean, hey, Mama Mia. Joey knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Was he one of the dads in Mamma Mia? He is. He's yeah. the creepy Eastern European dad. <laughs> he's a hunk when he's young. One. Yeah. Sure. Before we, we give all, our, our we final all, score, we want one. I do have some fun facts for you guys. Sure. Uh, and so I always like to write down some of the uh, six through ten place answers. This is some tiebreakers in case we need them. Uh, our sixth place answer for this one would have been. Do a tiebreaker? I mean, there's, there's no, no tie. There's no tie. You won. No, I know. Is there another round after this that we would have got? You said tiebreaker. Round. No, it's over. It's like the game oh, is I never wanted to end. I was going to give you the fun facts of what the rest of the things were. I mean, minority report. Right there at number six. Oh, uh, right there at number six, Jason Momoa. Yeah, yeah. one hundred and thirty-five votes from the audience. Um, Austin Butler was under him with forty-eight votes. Can't believe a it. big gap in votes there, Huge right? Gap. Almost a hundred separated. Uh, under Austin Butler by two points, Florence Pugh. Oh, Florence yeah. Pugh was our eighth place one. Pugh. Yeah. And then under Florence Pugh, you have Christopher Walken with forty-four votes under, um, or forty-four votes, which is two under uh, Florence Pugh. 
Anya Taylor Joy somewhere in there too. <laughs> For like the five seconds she was in the yeah, movie. Yeah. yeah. Uh, going back, uh, when I said name Steven Spielberg's best work, our sixth place answer was indeed uh, Saving Private Ryan mm, with movie. 111 votes from the audience. Uh, going back even earlier, where I said name a movie where Will Smith acted his ass off. Uh, our sixth through ninth place answers look like this, right? At sixth place, you have King Richard with 53 votes. Under that, I, Robot with 47 votes. Okay. Under that, Seven Pounds with 45 votes. And under that, you have Hitch with 35 oh, votes. Oh, yeah, Hitch. Hitch. Oh. Yeah. Shout Hitch. out to Hitch. Acted oh, and, his ass off. And no Hitchcock on that list, too. I know, it's fucked up. Hancock, but it's fucked oh, up. Hancock. Yeah. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Sorry. No, I get how you make no, it. I get how you conflict no. <laughs> Hitchcock would have been a way different movie. Yeah, than yeah. Hancock. I don't different. know who Will Smith is. <laughs> is Will Smith is, as a director <laughs> making yeah, horror I mean, films? <laughs> I didn't even recognize him. Uh, and then going back to where I said name of a movie franchise based on a novel uh, that became more popular than, than the novel, um, our sixth place answer for that would have been Twilight yeah. with 87 votes. Under that, James Bond with 52 yeah. votes. Yeah. Right, yeah. Under yeah. that, Blade Runner with 23 oh. votes. And then under that, Godfather with 20 votes. Ooh, from that's yeah. a great Godfather's a great call. Yeah. Barrett, what's yes, the final Mario score? <laughs> the final the score in last place, but fought her butt off was Team Elise with 140 points. Just a little bit ahead of her with 190 points in second place. He was in the lead earlier, but he fell off just a little bit. Was Team James with 190 points. And our leader representing the company today was Team Nick Scarpino with 260 Thank you, everyone. Boys. Thank you, everyone. I'd like, to, I'd like to thank the Academy uh, because for voting for me, I'd also like to thank my manager. I know we're not supposed to thank our PR people anymore, but I'm thanking my PR person, mm -hmm. uh, Blessing out Area Jr., who rigged this game so that I could win a yeah, game of the answers How many of those hands did you see before? All of them. He gave him the cheat sheet. <laughs> uh, I also want to issue a, uh, my official apology to Rebecca Ferguson for none of us picking you. Uh, we love you. Please come on our show. You're amazing. Yeah, you should be in everything. everything. Yeah, okay. uh, from now, um, did you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that you how that came in? points for it. <laughs> Let me pick the lint off your mic. There you go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there. thank you. I appreciate you guys. Uh, and big ups to Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations, yeah, Nick yeah. Tarpino, <laughs> on the win. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, next week we'll be back with our premiere. Season 2 finally begins for Game Showdown. So tune in next week to get your regular cast on the show and to kick off the new season. Until next time, I've been Blessing. That's been James Willems. That's been Elise Willems. And that's been the one and only Nick Scarpino. Right it's been our pleasure to serve you. See you next week. <laughs>